I have taken one cup of yogurt, that's curd. It can be homemade or market pot. One teaspoon of oil, it can be olive oil. I have taken mustard oil because it really enhances the flavor. One teaspoon of lemon juice. One tablespoon of onion ginger chili paste. One teaspoon of garam masala powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. Three cloves of garlic. One teaspoon of red chili powder. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. One teaspoon of coriander powder. I'm going to start making my marinade by taking my cup of yogurt in a mixing bowl. Then I'm going to add my oil. I have used mustard oil that really enhances the flavor. You can use any kind of oil that you like and a teaspoon of lemon juice. We will first whisk it around and make it very smooth. This is a little thick, so I can add about one to two teaspoons of milk just to make it a little more smoother. Now I'm going to add my onion ginger chili paste. Then I'm going to add my garlic, which I have grated or minced. Now I'm going to add all my dry ingredients together, the garam masala powder, salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder, that's haldi, and coriander powder, that's dhania powder. I'm just putting everything together and then mix it very gently. Mix all the ingredients together. Whisk it for about a minute or so. Mix it well and our marinade is ready. This marinade can be used for any kind of vegetables, for chicken tikkas, paneer tikkas, even mushrooms or any vegetables that you choose. And our marinade is ready. This is about one pound of cottage cheese, 400 grams. I have cut my paneer or cottage cheese into cubes. It's about one inch by about half an inch. For making my paneer tikka, I'm going to put my paneer cubes into the marinade that I have made. I have to keep on mixing it gently so that it coats on all the sides. I'm going to put it now and leave it there for about an hour or two. Or you can even leave it overnight in a box, in an airtight. I'm just going to close the lid and keep it in this only. Just try to make sure that all of it gets coated well. And I leave it in there for about a couple of hours inside the fridge so that it gets nicely coated and it gets soaked well. Then it is ready to be cooked. Now our marinade is ready. I've added my paneer pieces into it. I'm just going to close it and keep it in the fridge for about a one hour or so. I am actually going to leave it for four or five hours because I don't have made it a little earlier. I'm going to just make sure that whenever I'm ready to eat it, I will just take it out from the fridge and cook it. You can even do this for about and leave it in the fridge for a whole day so that it's much easier for you and it's fast and ready to be eaten and cooked and eaten. I'm going to now compile my paneer tikka. I have some skewers. I have onions, red onions that I have chopped into one inch squares. And these are green peppers or bell peppers, capsicum. I've cut them into one inch squares. And this is my marinated paneer, which I've just taken out from the fridge. Picking up a skewer, I will first put an onion wedge. Then I will take my paneer that is cottage cheese just put it through it then I'm going to put my another onion wedge and I'm putting my another piece of cottage cheese kind of hard but that's okay and then I'm going to put my this is my bell pepper 
I can add tomatoes to it also, whatever I like. I'll put another one. And my skewer is ready to be cooked. Done. This is how we make all our skewers ready. I'm going to turn on my pan, cooktop pan, and I'm going to spray some oil. You can also put about a teaspoon of oil. Now I'm going to place my paneer, the marinated paneer pieces, cubes. I just want to show you how simple it is to make it on the pan as well. Just put it there. Now we'll do these individually. Just let it cook on one side for about a minute or so. Then we are going to flip it after this. We will flip it after this, but let it cook. We have to cook it in the same thing for about, on from all four sides. I'll be putting some oil spray on the top as well. And let it cook. You can see that this has started cooking. It's like burning a little bit, but that is exactly how we want it. We're just going to lift it and put it on the other side. Flip it on the other side. Flip it on the other side. Reduce, reduce the heat a little. It's nice and smelling very nice. And bring it back here. We have to try to cook these from all four sides if we can. That will give it the best flavor. You can sprinkle chaat masala over it to make it a little more spicier. Paneer tikka in the tandoori yogurt marinade is ready. This once I have cooked on the cooktop in a non-stick pan with just a half a teaspoon of oil or just a spray of oil. If you like this recipe, then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon to get all the updates and the new recipes that I keep on posting. Thank you.